Hi, I'm now going to cover the topic of um, multi-switches and quattro LMBs. And the reason I'm covering these two products together is they're always used in conjunction with each other. You cannot use them without each other, okay? So I'm going to start off here with the quattro LMB. Now it looks in design very similar to a quad LMB, where you'd simply have four outputs, and each output would individually feed um, a satellite receiver. But if we actually look at the base of the quattro LMB here, we see that the output is actually divided into four. It's divided into horizontal high and low, and vertical high and low here okay and it's clearly marked which output is which now in terms of how it would be mounted it would be normally used in conjunction with something like an 80 centimeter dish now these are, are you, you routinely located on a parking block right across the, uh, the country and the idea is that it saves putting up multiple satellite dishes um, on a parking block a single satellite dish can feed almost an infinite number of um, uh, apartments uh, of satellite receivers uh, if it's correctly installed okay so it'd be mounted here uh, like this and we'd run a satellite cable and um, i'm just going to have an example here of uh, one it just has an f-type connector on both ends so if we looked in the bottom of the thing here we have a, um, a horizontal high here for example i'd screw this f-type connector in here and similarly for each of the other outputs and i'd run them down as far as the um, the multi-switch itself, and if you look at the multi-switch, there's five inputs on this multi-switch. Um, on the top here, we have a horizontal high, so we'd screw the other end of the cable here into this, okay? So obviously when you're wiring these, it's very, very important to have clear marking on which is which, because it's easy to get them mixed up afterwards, and if they're mixed up, it just won't work correctly. Uh, so we'd have a horizontal high, vertical um, high, uh, horizontal low, and vertical low here. And in this particular uh, model, we actually have a fifth input, which is terrestrial, and you can see it covers 40 to 862 megahertz, so it covers the full VHF, UHF. Um, um, uh, range. So the idea with this is that we can have uh, the full satellite range being covered um, here and then the terrestrial here and all of these fed in and each of the out eight outputs here will have a satellite signal capable of feeding one satellite receiver plus also if we have an aerial connected uh, it'll be capable of feeding a satellite um, um, or giving signal from a, a, a terrestrial aerial on your roof. Okay. Now with this particular um, model that we have here, it's called a 58. So there's five inputs and eight outputs. Um, now you can you can have a cascade version of this where you have five inputs, eight outputs, and also the five outputs going on to yet another multi-switch, and you can do that all all almost to infinitum. So you can actually have hundreds of satellite receivers running off a single satellite dish. Now, to give you an idea here, once again, we'll use a cable similar to this with an F-type connector with a screw in here. And you can have a single cable running to an apartment block uh, or, or to a particular apartment or to a particular um, a TV point and uh, feeding a single satellite receiver. Or you can have a twin. Uh, two feeds running to uh, a single point, and that would be capable of feeding, for instance, uh, a Humax uh, FreeSat uh, Plus box or a Sky Plus box. Um, so um, uh, this is it. Now, on the far end, when actually in the apartment, we'll say, you have two choices if you actually want to spit the cable back out and feed both a, a, a terrestrial aerial and satellite. One is you can use something like this, either a, a an all-trade um, diplexer or a, a TV sat combiner, okay? And you can just use them in, in reverse, okay? Normally they're used in this manner, we have two cables in and one back out, but um, both, with both the triax and the all trade design, you can spit them back out. So it, you'll have on this side here the satellite signal which you can f use to feed your satellite box, and on this side you can actually feed directly in uh, to a television, and uh, you can have the four Irish channels independently. So a single cable can bring in both satellite and terrestrial using this system. Now a slightly neater model uh, of this is a wall Wolseley uh, wall plate. You take off your existing wall plate, you simply hardwire the cable into the back of the box, and you run this uh, through okay and um, so uh, uh, you put the RTs on this side to sort of the terrestrial TV in this side and the satellite on this side so that's the basic um, overview of how you'd use it. Um, as I said, in Ireland, they're almost exclusively used for apartment blocks, hotels, and, and uh, situations like this. Uh, strangely, on the continent in Germany and things like this, but far more common for them to be used in, in domestic situations. But I, I would find the setup on these are quite difficult. Um, your traditional sky satellite meter, uh, when you're trying to set up here, uh, it'll tell you whether you have or haven't found the signal. But actually, to get a very fine adjustment, um, on these necessary to have this system working correctly. 
Um, you know, you can't totally depend on your meter. In my experience, anyway, I normally use the Laguna meter um, in the past. Um, uh, so, you know, a little bit of uh, judgment and things like that is, is required. So, I, I wouldn't recommend a system for a DIYer, um, but for somebody would say who's wiring a power block, um, this, the, the smart equipment is excellent. It's, you know, mass volumes, hundreds of thousands of these units have been produced. It works extremely well, um, but, uh, you know, it, it has very specific uses. Um, if I was just had a, t a house where I had four or eight, TV points. I think I just put up a sky dish and put on the quad or not do LMB with it. But anyway, hopefully that's given you a good overview. So from beginning to end, um, the smart uh, Quattro LMB and the smart uh, uh, 5x8 um, uh, multi switch.